What's up you guys, it's Juan and Juan back at it again with another video. Today I will be reacting to the All-Star Game 2021. It was pretty weird, man. I was like, like, what's up? I tuned in on Friday and I was like, are they gonna do like a celebrity game? They weren't like announcing anything. They did have uh, rappers play Jack Harlow. Jack Harlow, Quavo versus uh, 2 Chains, and Lil Baby, yeah. Lil Baby wasn't that good, but still like, <laughs> you gotta give him credit for the effort, you know? He's he sticks to mostly his his um his rap career, his uh, his craft and all that stuff. It's better for him to be a rapper than a hooper, honestly. But yeah, um, Quavo's alright, but then I didn't really care about the game. Like, I didn't really watch it. I just watched the highlights. I was trying to tune into it, but I don't know. I couldn't find it anywhere that was, that they were airing it live. I couldn't find it. I don't know why. So and then comes a. Uh, Actually, it was on Saturday. Yeah, I was tuning in on Friday. Nothing happened on Friday. And Saturday is when the, the little <clears throat> the rapper game happened, I guess. It was in, in, in Atlanta. So, yeah, I was trying to tune into it. I couldn't find anything. They didn't do a, a skill challenge or nothing on Saturday. Nothing. Then I tried to find news on NBA.com and I found out that everything was just been, everything has just been compressed into all in one day. You know, I was like, damn, what the hell? So they're gonna have so what about the Rising Stars game? They're gonna do all that at the same time? Like, man, that's gonna be weird. And then uh, I'm tuning in on Sunday, but then Sunday I had a basketball game at 4.30. So I went and did that. And then after, I tried to get quickly home <laughs> to try to watch the All-Star game, which I made it on time. And I made it just in time for the all to watch the All-Star game. But I missed out on the three-point contest. And they haven't shown the I was trying to walk, I was trying to find highlights to see what had happened, you know, on Bleach Report, on the NBA, but I couldn't find anything. And the All-Star game begins, and then they did the NBA dunk contest in the middle of the All-Star game. I was like, oh, well, this is very odd. I didn't think this would, I never thought they'd do it this way. I don't know, it was weird. And I don't think they did a rising, I think they did, but it was way before. But anyways, everything was just compressed. You know, Luca had his, uh, had an impact in the game, eight points, eight rebounds. No, eight points, eight assists and three rebounds. Yeah, he had eight assists, pretty good by him. And he had a nice little dunk, two threes. Yeah, pretty good impact by him. But then I saw Kyrie dunk, CP3 dunk, and uh, Stephen Curry dunk. Probably won't ever see him dunk again in another game, you know? In a, in a regular season game, you probably won't ever see him. Maybe Curry, because he likes to try that towards the end of the game, he might give him he might be left wide open and he'll try to dunk it. But Kyrie's more crossover, likes to do his crazy moves. CB3 as well. He sticks to passing passing the ball and whatnot. And yeah, on this note, before the All-Star weekend, um, the Mavericks wrapped up their, their little, the last three games they won, making, ranking them, putting them up on the eighth spot of the Western Conference, which is pretty good and Porzingis is playing very good as well, but then I've heard some trade rumors, like some trade scenarios. I'm not sure, they're just setting up trade scenarios right now for examples, you know? But yeah, man, like, it could come to an end for Porzingis in Dallas soon. Like, I don't know how soon, man. I don't know what Mark Cuban had, has up in his bag or up his sleeve, I don't know, man, like, it's crazy. Uh, we haven't even seen that um, full impact of the, the unicorn, Luca, you know? You haven't really seen that connection because Porzingis has been out for mostly out of the season, you know, because he's just inconsistent on um, every game he's played. He at least has a little impact, you know, he's not that bad, but it's just that he's into the little injuries are just derailing him, you know, to get him back into he's last season in the bubble, dude. He was playing really good and then he got injured, you know, and I think that causes the series against the Clippers, in my opinion. That really definitely, and then Luca was injured with his ankle as well. He kept playing, but it still was just too risky. The Mavericks took an L. <clears throat> then this season, he came off of a knee surgery. Yeah, and that's bad. That set him back again. And now he missed a couple games with his lower back issues and whatnot. And then on him not being ready, soreness and all that, I'm like, man, it's kind of getting annoying, you know? 
I would be annoyed too if I was an owner or a coach, you know? But I mean, like, damn, you gotta do what you gotta do. But wow, like, it's crazy. I haven't seen that Luca connection with Porzingis. That European, the international team, you know what I'm saying? The international duo, my bad. Damn. Well, yeah, let's react to these um, NBA All Star game highlights. Deep three by Kyrie. They've been doing it weird this past couple of All-Stars. I think it's just to shorten it even more. I'm not sure what they're trying to do. Whoever won the most quarters won. And then the fourth quarter, they summed up all the points and whoever gets to 170 first would win. That's how I saw it. I was like, well, the... I want to say the West, but it's not. They really, they make it seem like it's uh, it's mixed. I think this season, this uh, All-Star game was more mixed than last year. Last year, it looked obvious, West versus East. Even there was just uh, two players that were different. Uh, one player that was on different teams. But yeah, now it's actually, it looks kind of Team LeBron, Team Durant, you know? Because Durant's on the East. Bronze in the West. Bro, it's crazy seeing this All-Star game. I'm not used to seeing... I'm not used to seeing these uh, players. Mm. I'm definitely going to miss... Well, yeah, we all, we're all going to definitely miss Kobe being in these All-Star games, you know, since he retired in 2016 and then following his death. Rest in peace. But then, yeah, man, it's sad. And then, um, it's good to see CP3 back. Really good to see Chris Paul back. Or, I forgot if he was even on season. See, I don't know why people start. I don't know why the media likes to argue about who should have started or who didn't. Like, at the end of the day, look, like, they, they're in the All-Star game, you know? They're a member of the All-Star. Curry and Damian Lillard are going off on threes. Stephen Curry won the three points. Three point contest, pretty amazing. Him and Mike Conley went, went at it. Curry beat a score of a 27. Curry beat it 28 to 27, it's pretty nice. Jason Tatum can shoot the three ball, man. I didn't think he was that good, but it's pretty good, dude. Jason Tatum's first season had, had me worried. He was only averaging 13 points. <laughs> Like LeBron dunking in at 36 still, as usual. Jalen Brown passes it, passes it back to him. Leonard lob, Leonard lobs it up to Zion Williamson. Oh yeah, it was crazy seeing, uh, not seeing Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. You know they were supposed to be on. I think they were supposed to be starting, but then they were ruled out. I don't know who they got replaced by. I honestly don't I know. I didn't seem to care as long as I watched the All-Star game. And look, Curry loses the ball, and he picks it back up, and he just throws it. Damn, Curry, man. Oh, I wish we had Curry on the Mavericks. This is cold. After this game, people are like, man, imagine they saw LeBron and Curry having both fun together. Imagine, imagine them on the same team. <laughs> Please don't set up any scenarios like that. Stop. No more super teams. Damian Lillard. Damn. Dude, this is more of highlights of Team LeBron. Look, Curry. Curry throws it down. The law, the jam. That's nice. And he hangs on the rim. And Chris Paul gets in the action too. Pass from Steph Curry. Shortest, shortest players on the court, man. Dunking it. <laughs> it's crazy. 
Damn. 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 Kyrie got hops too, man. Like, he didn't even need a lot. He just bounced it. Then he threw it down. Dude, look at this. They were just trading three pointers. Half court shots. LeBron won uh, the first, second, and third quarter. They should have just played the 12 minutes. Like. And then the fourth quarter, they took the time. There was no, there was no time. Whoever got to 170 wins it. They combined all the scores. So at this point, LeBron is winning. LeBron's team is winning 104-85 in the third quarter. It's weird the way they did it. Yeah, this is a good way to speed up the process, I guess. But I, mean, I don't know why. How did you do it? Curry to Rudy Gobert, Doc Rivers the coach, <laughs> Luca to Giannis, Giannis hits a three pointer, damn, <laughs> Reggie Miller, Kenny the Jet Smith, Giannis steals the ball, Rudy Gobert awkward dribbling, bang, he stops it, damn, Rudy Gobert can't dribble. Crap, man. Damn, Jim's harder. Right over Rudy Gobert. Jalen Brown. Three pointer. Oh, he faded it. He turned his back and he just shot it. He turned away and he shot it. Kyrie. No, it's down to Mitchell. Yeah, it's Mitchell. Chandler Brown and one four point play. Kyrie, Bradley Beal, Jason, no, Zach Levine. Chris Paul steals it from Zach Levine. He passes it to Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown, the month Sabonis to Paul George. Sabonis is flicked it to Paul George. Yeah, Ben Simmons, <clears throat> Curry for three. Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid couldn't play, so I was like, damn. All because of contact tracing. I mean, so it wasn't even confirmed that they had COVID or not. Just because they they got a haircut from a barber that that was confirmed with COVID, the NBA decided to rule them out, rule both of them out. I'm like, I guess Devin Booker couldn't play because of an injury, and Kevin Durant either. And I thought that was gonna happen to Luca because Luca, I think he had some ankle issues or something like that. I'm not sure what was wrong with Luca, but Luca had something wrong. Something was wrong with Luca, but then I guess he wanted to play. But that's why he didn't play that many minutes. And then right here, bam, Damian Lillard just sums it up. Got it to 170. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium Shut up. Yeah, that was it, man. The highlights of the All-Star game. Dunk contest wasn't all that. Obi Toppin. I think uh, some guy named Simon won. Yeah, Simon. Or Finney Simon, I think. Yeah, that's his name. I've seen him before. I think he's played with the Trollers. I don't know, but I would never. Uh, and then there's some other player I never heard of, like ever. Oh, I forgot his name. But anyways, Obi Toppin participated at the New York Nick. Yeah, man. Ah, I wasn't that impressed. Not like I can dunk, but I was just not that impressed. But I mean, like, man, this. All-Star Weekend was just weird, man. I thought it was going to be normal, I guess. I don't know, bro. It was just not, I wasn't feeling it. It wasn't the same. I can't wait till I can. I think we can start going back to Mavericks games. I'm going to start, I'm going to start um, hunting for tickets and try to go to a game or whatnot. But then, yeah, man, this, I wasn't feeling this All-Star Weekend game. It was all compressed into one day. I thought it was going to be a celebrity game. And then I guess it would've been it would have been too much of a hassle, you know, trying to do a celebrity game this day. And I don't know, NBA is too worried about COVID. And then Saturday, oh, somebody has COVID, oh, they can't play no more, whatever. I guess, yeah, it would have been too many people dabbing each other up or whatnot. I don't know, man, at this point, I don't know. It's just COVID's gonna ruin everything. If one person gets test positive, they're gonna wanna quarantine everybody, you know? 
Yeah, this sucks. Yeah, I'm wearing a Dak Prescott shirt because he just signed a four, four, uh, four year, $160 million deal. I think guaranteed like 126 is guaranteed. Yeah, 126 is guaranteed. Yeah, congrats to Dak Prescott. He's got a big contract with Dallas Cowboys, much deserved. Deserved it more than Zeke. That's what I think. That's my opinion. But yeah, man, I just, this is me reacting to the NBA All-Star Game highlights. I can't wait till the Mavericks start playing on Wednesday and we can get this, um, we can get this little, extend this little streak going on that we have. And hopefully KP can make up for what all he's been missing, you know? Hopefully he starts averaging like, dude, it's crazy how Blake Griffin went to the Nets. I forgot to mention this. But yeah, dude, the Nets just acquired, I think it was a two year deal to, with, um, or it's just a, I haven't looked into the details in the contract yet, but yeah, they saw, somehow they acquired a Blake Griffin after he bought out with the Pistons. The Nets were able to get Blake Griffin, add some more arson. So now they got Kevin Durant, James Harden, Kyrie Irving, and Blake Griffin. That looks like a super team. But at the end of the day, you know, Blake Griffin hasn't even dunked since like, like over a good two years or something like that. Yeah, he hasn't dunked because it's all, uh, his injuries have derailed his like agility speed performance so he's turned into like a three-point shooter a mid-range shooter you know or whatnot so he hasn't been a, a, that as explosive i think he's still got it bro but he just didn't want to play for the pistons i think he he could still catch it and lob it up you know and, and all that stuff I, I still think he can do that i he wasn't he didn't want to be in detroit man like there's no winning scenario in detroit right now they're like tanking they get they got blake griffin from the clippers two three years ago heartbroken by the Clippers, Blake Griffin was. So there's like no direction of uh, winning, you know, at this point. So the the dirt, they're, they're just like the Timberwolves, man. The Timberwolves, they have no scenario playing. Carl Anthony, Carl Anthony Towns been out. Uh, they had Jimmy Butler, Jimmy Butler didn't want to play with them because they don't have that winning mentality. Uh, D'Angelo Russell, he's all right, man, but he's just not that good. D'Angelo Russell hasn't even been on the same court with Carl Anthony Towns in a while, dude, like, it's crazy. And Warriors are looking back to get their throne back next season. And it should have been this season with Klay Thompson, other player, another player. That I'm sure they would have added a whole other different player, man. Good player to the team. But with Klay Thompson being out, it kind of ruins their chances. But they're still top in the West, so I'd give them that. They're still in the playoff picture, like kind of in the playoff picture. But the Mavericks are in the eighth spot. They're, us, the Mavericks, we're holding the eighth uh, playoff spot right now. So let's just see what happens. Hopefully the Mavericks can win more games. And we'll see, we'll see us in the playoffs. Uh, hope you like this video. Hope you comment, like, like, and subscribe. This is finally one out.